Hi, welcome to the first lessons at the Acorn Art class. Now this is going to be one half of the first lesson, so make sure to check out the fundamental portion, the other half, after this video. So, have you ever had such an amazing idea or felt such strong emotion that just needed to be captured in an art piece? I don't know why I'm picking a fight right now. <laughs> Maybe the idea was a space monkey surfing with Santa, or the emotion was a pain after a heartbreak. Whatever the case is, it is all worthy of becoming an art piece. But where do you start? Now, art is subjective, meaning it doesn't have one right answer. But what I aim to do is give you some tools so that you can help translate your thoughts, ideas, feelings into a visual form and matter. We must start with the basics though, which is lines and shapes. Now here are the instructions. I'm going to give you a word and as soon as you hear the word, you're going to draw the first shape you think of or associate when you hear that word in 10 seconds. Now this shape doesn't have to be a real strong, identifiable shape, just whatever form or even the scribble is great. We have no right or wrong answers. Let's just go with the flow. First, you'll need some materials. You'll need a pen, a paper, and a thicker marker, preferably all black or a shade of gray. And if you're wondering, what about color? Now, whoa, whoa, cowboy, I see you, I hear you, we'll get there. <laughs> Let's first start with shapes and lines. And ready for the word? Ready? Three. Excited. Okay, what do you have? Are you questioning what shape it is? Are you questioning me? Are you questioning existence? Well, here's where the real work starts. We are going to start and practice explaining why this shape represents excitement. Basically, defending our shape. Stay with me for a moment. This is why we're doing this exercise. These are all art. Why? Because we decided it was. We were convinced it was. If you want any chance of your art being taken as art, you'll need to be able to present it as such. You need to learn how to present your art and talk about your art because you are your art's PR manager and advocate, spokesperson. That's you. Now here's how I would talk about my shape and why it represents excitement. Now this shape represents excitement because the peaks forming at the top resembles and replicates the feeling of the heartbeat fastening and rising of the thumping and the excitement and the buildup. It also is very unstable. It's very lopsided, which also is representing the emotion of excitement and almost to a degree of manic, where it's not a stable, sturdy, constructed emotion. It's irregular, it's ecstatic, it is formed with many peaks and a level of sharpness. The edges of the top that are rounded conveys a more pleasant, positive association rather than a jagged, sharp, and painful peak and emotion. This exercise might feel a little strange at first, but I strongly advise you to just keep going with it. If the reasoning doesn't pop up right away in your brain, take some time to actually think about it and sit down, write things down, and always, Always see more art and even read the descriptions or descript like how people describe it as an artist, but also how a gallery or a magazine would describe the artwork. Art is so accessible now, and I know it's not the same to see a painting in person or your phone, but you can still have a good idea and learn from a lot from your phone. There's Pinterest, there's Instagram, there's online galleries, so many sources just waiting for you. It's waiting for you wants you to text him back. Reading the descriptions about how a gallery magazine article would describe the art piece, or even seeing the descriptions from the artist statement itself is also very helpful to know how other artists chooses and why they chose what they chose. It gives a good example and kind of gives you data and resources to rely and fall back to when you're presenting your own work. 
I hope you enjoyed this expression portions of our first lesson. Make sure to check out the other half, the fundamental portions, where I show you how to make drawing simple. Subscribe for more future content. And lastly, practice, repetition, and consistency will take you further than any secret recipe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.